Care of Children Law Reform Bill introduction. Those bills introduced are set down for first reading. The House now comes to questions for oral answer, and the first question stands in the name of Materia today. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister and ask, does he stand by his statement, quote, what we are choosing is hard-working New Zealanders who go out there day after day to try to support their families, end quote. The Hon. Jerry Brownlee on behalf Mr. of the Speaker, Prime Minister. Uh, yes, because they deserve our support. Materia today. How can the Prime Minister's policies be helping hard-working New Zealanders when the Households Income Report this week found that real incomes for the bottom two-thirds of households, 66 per cent of the country, has dropped? The Hon. Jerry Brownlee. Well, Mr Speaker, as has been previously pointed out to the, minute, to the member, uh, there are many ways in which such a figure can be measured. If, for example, we took the measure uh, in the years 2000 to 2005, we'd find that that was the greatest area of disparity. And even though we've had the global downturn, economic downturn, and we have had the great dislocation of the Christchurch earthquakes, we still are not back to that level of disparity. To suggest that there is no support for people on lower incomes is also very wrong. Supplementary. Materia today. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How could the global financial crisis or the Christchurch earthquake be at all responsible for his government's decision to give tax cuts to the top income earners in this country, which has helped to drive the gap between rich and poor to the highest level it has ever been in New Zealand history? The Hon. Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, 76 per cent of all income tax collected comes from the top 10 per cent of taxpayers. They have not been adversely or, or excessively advantaged. What I would say is that where people are losing jobs because of uh, earthquake circumstances or because of uh, general, uh, the, the global financial crisis, of course it will affect household incomes. And it is a fact that those on the bottom end of, uh, of the income scale usually are first affected. That's why we want a strong economy to protect those people. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How can his policies be helping hard-working New Zealanders when a key finding of the Households Income Report shows a decline in employment income for deciles 3 to 6, that is middle-income New Zealanders, or does he not think that middle-income New Zealanders are hard workers? The Hon. Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, of course they're hard workers, and that's why there is a considerable amount of government support in place for people. We want to make sure that that support is complementary to the work that people do in the economy. That is a good thing. Supplementary. Today. Isn't it true that under uh, his watch, unemployment has grown? Uh, there are now more than 65,000 unemployed people under National's watch, proving that his government and he as Prime Minister is much better at losing jobs than he is at creating them. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, there have been uh, many, many new jobs created for the New Zealand economy under the current government. And what I might say to the member is that it is plain silly to deny that we have been living through very difficult uh, international circumstances. And it is also a fact that if New Zealand likes to look at other countries it compares itself to, we have come through these times in far better shape than many of those. And yes, it is unfortunate that people, more people want work but the only way they'll get it is by having a growing economy, which that member's party seemed to want to ignore. Supplementary. If the minister, Prime Minister is choosing hard-working New Zealanders uh, and the economy is apparently improving, why is it that WINS has given out 134,000 special need grants to working families who couldn't make ends meet in this last year, nearly double the number from 2007? The Hon. Jerry Brownlee. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, the conditions in our economy have changed during that time quite clearly. Uh, but look, let me put it to you this way. The suggestion that somehow the government is neglecting people on lower incomes is plain wrong. If we were to take, Mr Speaker, someone with two children, a sole parent, working 25 hours a week at around $15 an hour, they would receive a family tax credit of $157. A work, an in-work tax credit is $60, up to $225 a week in accommodation assistance, 
and a minimum tax credit of $106, taking their earned income of $17,000 up to a total package of $45,500. To suggest the government is abandoning people in these circumstances is plain rubbish. Well, how, how is his government helping 16-year-old Peniata Junior Enderman, who goes to school and works 20 hours a week in a cleaning job because his mum's minimum wage job does not provide enough to support him and his three siblings? Is Peniata a hard worker? Is his mother a hard-working New Zealander? The Honourable Jerry Brantley. Mr Speaker, I don't doubt that they are hard-working New Zealanders and that they are making efforts to improve their own circumstances. If there is some aspect of government support that should be available to that family, I hope that member makes sure they get it, because it's there. Supplementary. Today. Is the Prime Minister saying that Pinata and his mum have enough? Don't they deserve a living wage? The Honourable Cherry Brown. Now, Mr Speaker, I most certainly have not said that. What I have said is that they should be commended for working rather than being uh, abused in a political process and held up as some sort of sad example when they're making such a huge effort on their own behalf. It is unfortunate that they have come into contact with politicians who have absolutely no aspiration for them to improve their circumstances. This government is in favour of people working and we support people who are working. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Isn't it the case that the supposed hard-working New Zealanders that he chooses are those who are the top income earners, who got massive tax cuts from his government, who were the only group, the only group in New Zealand to enjoy an increased income in the past year, and many of whom didn't even pay their fair share of tax. Aren't these the real chosen ones? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, this is the sort of carping nonsense that was going to take this country nowhere. Let's be very clear. I just gave an example of someone looking after their two children on their own, working for 25 hours a week, earning $17,000 a year from their work, but getting total support that takes their income to $45,000. That is not a government advancing, advantaging people at the top end. It's a government respecting people who work hard and want to get on with their lives. Question number two, Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social...